It's Friday, December 4th, 2015, and the holiday season is officially here. Stay warm and have fun over the next three weeks as there's plenty taking place to get into the holiday spirit. Here's your two-minute video news recap of all things Oregon Outback. It's The Flash. The Christmas season officially kicked off in Lakeview on Tuesday with the annual tree lighting ceremony. The high school choir performed several songs and the reciting of Twas the Night Before Christmas and the Christmas Story was read, which culminated with the arrival of Santa Claus at the Chamber of Commerce. Afterwards, many peruse the trees up for raffle at the Festival of Trees in downtown Lakeview, and the drawings for the trees will take place on December 17th. A similar tree lighting ceremony will take place in Christmas Valley on Saturday at Flower Memorial Park. Four public hearings were conducted by County Commissioners regarding Ordinance 112, which would be an opt-out of Oregon's Measure 91 law, referring it to a public vote. Two hearings were held in Lakeview on Tuesday, with two additional hearings in Paisley to hear public opinions on the matter. The ordinance refers only to commercial growing, processing, retail stores, and medical facilities only in unincorporated parts of the county, which excludes Paisley and Lakeview and its urban growth boundary. If the ordinance goes forward, the matter would be included in the November 2016 general election ballot. Construction finally began on Wednesday for new bleachers to be installed at Lakeview High School's Honker Court, replacing the original bleachers first installed over 50 years ago when the school was built. The new bleachers provide aisles and a safer design for games and assemblies, covering both decks overlooking the court. To accommodate the construction's completion, Lakeview's basketball teams have a road-heavy schedule to start the year, not playing their first home varsity games until December 28th. Lake County Sheriff Mike Taylor promoted Luke Campbell to the rank of sergeant during a swearing-in ceremony on Tuesday. It is part of Sheriff Taylor's effort to give more hierarchy to the sheriff's office, after previously promoting County Jail Manager Paul Hobble to undersheriff. Sheriff Taylor plans two additional promotions of deputies to corporals in the near future as well. Well, there's the buzzer. So that does it for us this week. With everything holiday-related going on this month, it's easy to lose track of it all. So stay up to date with our interactive calendar. Just go to LakeCountyExam.com and click on the calendar to see a listing of events across Lake County. Follow us across these social media sites. Catch a new Lake County Flash every Friday. And for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up the next Lake County Examiner. Coyote Quick Stop. It's fast and convenient and loaded with an array of grocery items, hot deli selections, beers, cigarettes, OLCC, liquor, and mix. Check out our new breakfast special, chicken fried steak complete with hash browns, biscuits, and gravy for only $4.99. We will have fun holiday gift items and stocking stuffers due to arrive this week. This will include decorative liquor gift packs and so much more. And be sure to ask about our party platters. We can make them to suit almost any sized holiday party. Happy holidays from the crew at Coyote Quick Stop.